at 17 years of age. Incredible. Very impressive. Very, very impressive. Runkit or Samprapai is 58, 16 and 1 as professional. The Rajadam Naran Stadium super featherweight champion. He got his chance when Rodtang uh, Jit Mwangon withdrew due to contractual obligations with one championship, uh, where Rodtang took a con controversial loss to Tenshi Naskawa. It's his first fight outside of Thailand, and he says he's very excited about this opportunity. He fully understands the pressure and is looking to stamp his name in the books today to pave way for future fights overseas. He wants to fight more outside of Thailand. Took his first fight when he was just seven years old. Uh, from 10 years old, he began taking the sport more seriously, joined the Yotarak Muay Thai gym in Phuket. Uh, at just 17 years of age today, he has around 200 fights with already a bunch of titles, including, as I said, the Raja Damnarn Stadium, 130 pound. He says he's looking for the Lumpine Stadium title also. Actually, did win his Rajanam title from uh, Rodan. Runkit with a big high kick there. Cordero replies with one of his own. Cordero very compact. Runkit, very strong low kicks from that south ball stance. Now, a clear height difference here, but that's nothing new for Fred Cordero. He's often in this position. He's fought much taller opponents also and taken them out in the past. Oh, big heavy stepping in right there. Oh, also, nice. Also possesses some good spinning kicks, spinning back roundhouse. Yeah. But so Ringit will have to, you know, keep his guard up. That kick he just threw there, he looked low and then he flipped it up high just at the last minute. Cordero, his style obviously adapted to fighting taller guys. He's got that sway back to avoid the high kicks. But how is he going to be deal with this relentless pressure for all three rounds? Yeah, so far the, the ring control, the center of the ring is owned by the young 17-year-old Tai Runkit. Runkit with a big left cross onto the forehead of the Portuguese gentleman. Says he's okay, back up, it's not a down. Long teep there from Runkit. Very unusual to see the composure. On a fighter of somebody this age, Alex. Testament to his training and experience in Thailand. Yeah. Caldera, he's uh, moving well, but he takes a few more of those low kicks. Oh, and, uh, his mobility is definitely going to be cut down. That spinning kick there, though, that was very fast and came out of nowhere. It just takes one of them to connect. He'll be looking for that again. There he's watching that left cross from Runkit. He's wise to that now. Still more solid combinations from Runkit. 30 seconds left in round one here. The winner of this fight will go on to the semi-finals to face Shiro, one of only two Japanese in this tournament. Uh, he faces Vladislav Mikitas today, all the way from Ukraine. Some great exchanges so far here, Alex, in round one. Very hurtful kicks from Rungi. That left middle and left uh, low. Left and, that big right, right hand there looked like it caught him just behind the ear. Rungi got in with a snuck in left of his own right there. Yeah, very close round. Nobody landing very, very significant strikes. It did much damage, but Rungi, I think, with the advantage with the pressure and also the low kicks. That's true. Cordero with some of those spinning kicks and big right hands looked like he was trying to send the head of Runke into the audience. I was watching Koder in a, one of his earlier fights, he's actually switch hitter from orthodox and southpaw, but today we haven't seen that. He's just been in the orthodox stance. Well, we're just one round in so far, so let's see if he pulls that out the bag at some point. He definitely has a big bag of tricks. That's with a face with a southpaw opponent. 
he realizes maybe that's not the best thing to do. Yeah. Round two. Round two on the way. Run kit with the red shorts and Cordero with the blue. Short, sharp, compact left cross there from the tie. Very good vision from the tie, avoiding the spinning kick and then firing right back with that short left hand. Yeah, he's not leaving himself exposed at all. Very relaxed in there. Cordero looking to close that gap and unleash one of his big right hand bombs. Runkit still stalking him. Those long teeps again, using them like a jab, keeping him at bay. Cordero has to get inside that reach. He goes in with the body this time to set it up, but they clinch up and break up. Just over one minute has elapsed in round two. We have seen no judge decisions tonight so far. It has been an incredible night of kickboxing here at the Ota City Gymnasium in Tokyo, Japan. Oh, nice mid middle kicks by Runget. Cordero wastes no time when he sees a window of opportunity to close that gap. He just goes straight in there. He knows what he has to do when he has to land, come in with those big shots and land them, or possibly nail him with one of those spinning kicks. Going in low and then throwing the big right hand over the top is Cordero. Runkit still using his reach. One minute left in round two. Redness on the left thigh, the post leg of Fred Cordero. Not surprising, having taken those baseball bat chops from Runkit across the thigh. Up to second left. Oh, looking for that spinning back again, yeah. you can see that. And we can see that a mile away there. Yeah, you tele can telegraph that one. Called it in. Going into the closing seconds of round two. Both fighters have to make an impression on the judges here. Cordero getting manhandled there by Runkit. End of round two. Yeah, things start to unfold a little bit now as we progress in the fight. Cordero has fought taller guys very often before, but he's got his hands full here tonight. That second round, we'll get his uh, knees and the uh, left middle kicks. I think they maybe they'll do some do some damage and pay up, pay dividends as they start round. Tire is opponent out. Maybe he can go for the go for the finish or accumulate more damage. Just in the replay there, we saw Runkit use the timing of the spinning kick from Cordero to give a short left cross. Nice and compact. And he'll be looking to do that again when he reads any of these spinning back fists or kicks coming. Close round, but I definitely give that one to Runget. One more round with the possibility of one extra round, so a potential six more minutes on the clock. Round three, final round. Are we going to see a decision, Ed? Let's like see it happen. Who turns it up more now? <laughs> Referee just stepping in there before any blows to the back of the head happen. Cordero still needs to close that gap. He's in no trouble at all. There he goes with that switch there, Alex. I think Cordero realizes, though, he's got to do something. You see him. Uh, Closing distance more than they did last round. Ooh. Oh, some nice capoeira there from Cordero. There's a switch kick. 
Okit replies with a big kick of his own. Switching stances, closing that gap. Again, Fred Cordero. Okit popping in a really heavy looking high kick there. Caught on the guard of Cordero. Look, it's very relaxing now, but you think, oh, very nice combination that punch to Loki. You think he might want to turn up a little to make a very good impression. Make sure uh, he's got, gets his decision. That's right, yeah, it's not a one night tournament. He, he doesn't have to hold back at all. Yeah, that left, uh, left roundhouse just thudding in there. I don't think he cares if he hits his body or his arm. Either way, he's doing that nice counter front kick. Runkit showing no urgency still. He's corner right next to us here at the commentary booth. Almost like, oh! That was a nasty crack to the family jewels there. <laughs> He says he's okay, he's shaking it off, but that was clearly straight into the knackers there. I'm surprised he's starting, sorry, he should have possibly used uh, more time. Yeah, might have been a good tactic, but you know, fair play to him, he wants right back in there. He's determined, he's got a really high guard, he's stopping those high kicks coming in That's from Runkit, but he's struggling to close the gap now. Oh! Clipped him there with the right hand. There's another spinning kick attempt. Possibly Kudo has a little, little bit of taekwondo background. I remember learning those kicks when I was back in the ta taekwondo class. Coming up to just 30 seconds left in the third and final round here. Depending on what the judges say, we might see an extra round after this one. Oh, nice short left hand there by Rungit. I think he'd want to turn up a little bit more. Here we go. Now, Ruki's been doing the right thing, facing orthodox Cordero, throwing that high kick, but the guard of Cordero is very composed. I think he's accumulating points, but he likes a little more urgency, especially with all the knockouts we've seen tonight. And there's the bell signifying the third and final round. Let's see what the judges say we may have a clear winner. I would think Rungit has the decision wrapped up, but you never know. Yeah, it's looking that way. Based on what we've seen in those first three rounds, there's some replay from the third and final round there. That short left hand and also his uh, left middle kick definitely accumulates some points. Yeah, he's been using them very effectively throughout this fight. Another 30, 28 to Runkit. And a third and final third. 30 and 28 to Runkin. Runkin takes the win unanimously, and he will progress to the semi finals to face the winner of Shiro and Vladislav Migitas, who are fighting again on this card tonight. Now, that was a very interesting stylistic matchup, as you said, Alex. Very different style. So, as Runkit said in the presser yesterday, he thought it might take him until round three to, to do any real damage. And he didn't finish him at all in the end, but he did plenty to take Cord the win in the eyes of the judges. Cordero knew what he had to do, and he tried, but just was unable to close the distance. Progressing to the semi finals, your winner. Runkit, all the way from Thailand. Runkit War Sun Trapai. Big congratulations.
サラマリナルーキート選手にコメントをいただきますお願いしますあさありがとうコープンシャリプルトコンラッティカーマシアコープンマーラコープンボムトーターンヒプンラヤコープンナこんにちはありがとう日本の応援してくれた皆さんどうもありがとうございましたあと日本とあの日本のプレーを子供を歌う方でもお礼を申し上げますどうもありがとうございました。He wants to say a very big thank you to everybody in Japan and everybody here at Rise tonight and to his opponent. Once again, only 17 years old. And how about you, Shiva? What were you doing? What the, <laughs> I was certainly doing not, not doing this when I was 17. How about you? I was a champion of uh, not doing my homework.